Okay, the last question on the paper talks about the HCF or the highest common factor. Now we use HCF because it's quicker and we like to be smart and lazy than we do maths. We like to be lazy because we like to take shortcuts. We don't want to say highest common factor. So we can use HCF, but we can only use it if we're smart. We can only be lazy if we're smart about it. So we can be smart and say, well, we know that H stands for highest common factor. Well, obviously, that depends on our knowledge of what factor means. And it's a number uh, a number that divides exactly into another. So let's have a look. E.g. the factors of, let's do 36, I like 36, is a good one. So let's go down. And I always write my factors in pairs because we've got 1 times 36 gives us the answer 36. 2 times 18, and I keep trying the numbers, 3 times something, does 3 work? 3 goes into 30 10 times, so it must be 3 times 12, must it? There's 4 going. So I count up in your head. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. Oops. So it does go in. So it was 4, and it goes in 9 times. I keep going, so you can see how I'm trying the numbers in turn here, and you can also see how the numbers are getting bigger this way. I'm not finished though, so let's try 5. 5 times 5 is 25, so 30, 35, so 5 doesn't go in, and I know that 6 goes in because it's 6 times 6. So I know the factors in order. And now I'm not going to try 7 or 8 or 9 because then I'm going to get a repeat. As soon as I get a repeat, I can stop. So I know the factors are in numerical order. Reading down the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. And then reading up the right, but not 6. Repeated, 12, 18, 36. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different factors of the number 36. Let's, look at, let's do that for 42. Let's go 1 times 42, 2 times 2 goes in 21 times, 3, 3 goes into 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, so it's 3 goes to 40, 4 can't go in because 4 goes into 40, so it can't fit into 42, 5 can't go in, and then I know from my times tables, 6 times 7. And I would then go for try 7, but then I get 7 times 6. And I get that repeat I was talking about. So either I get the same number repeated twice, or I get a repeat that's already in my list. So I stop. Okay. Um, so I could write out the list. So the factors, therefore, are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, and 21. Oh, and 42. If I go ahead and do 70, I always start with 1 times 70, 2 times 35, 3 doesn't fit in because 3 goes into 60, I think, 60, 63, 66, 69, 4 goes into 80, so it doesn't fit in, 5 does. 5 does 14 times, 6 doesn't, because it goes into 60, 66, 72, and 7 does, 7 goes into 10, just check 8, 8 and 9, 8 times 9 is 72, so that's it, I'm finished. So the factors of 70 are 1, 2, uh, 5, 7, 10, 14, 
and 70. So let's have a look. I want the numbers that are in both lists. I want the highest common factor. So 1's in both lists, 2's in both lists, 7's in both lists, 14's in both lists, and then that's it. So the biggest number that's in both, the highest common factor, the biggest number that's in both is 14. So we say that HCF of 42 and 70, the biggest number that goes into both is 14.